Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on car headlights in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into using brush tool for creating glow lights, changing off blending modes, applying motion blur, applying outer glow, and applying color look up and curves to create a night effect. Let's get started! So here in our document, I prepared an image of a sports car. And our goal here is to create an effect that turns on its headlight. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a new layer. So to do that, going on to the right bottom corner of our screen, select on this symbol. That's the add layer. Click on that. All right. And let's name this layer as the glow one. All right. So selected on that glow one layer, let's go to the toolbar and find the brush tool. Or you can just press B for the shortcut key. Okay, and then for the options on top, click this one and choose on the soft round brush. Okay, for the opacity, I'm going to set this one into 100%. And go here for the foreground color, click this one, and then you can choose the color you want. All right, so for me, I'm going to make use of a little bit yellowish color, something like this, and then hit OK. All right, now once all said and done, making sure that you're selecting that glow one layer, and let's create that will fit on the headlight of this car. Right, look at the size of this brush, it is so fit on the headlight. Okay, so I'm going to create one point from here and also onto the other headlight, something like this. Okay, all right, now the next step here from that glow one layer selected, let's change its blend mode. Go here, click this, this normal, and with this arrow down, click on that, and then choose linear dodge. Okay, and then from that glow one layer, right click on it and then choose blending options. So this layer style dialog box will appear. So under the blending options from the font, go here, untick the transparency shapes layer. All right, boom, something like there's a bulb inside glowing. All right, and then hit OK. Now the next step here is we're going to add another layer. So go here in the right corner of the screen and then select on this one once again, create a new layer. And let's name this layer as the glow too. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to add another glow from the outside. So select on that glow to layer, go to the menu bar. We're going to make use of a brush tool once again. Okay. And yes, actually, the color is set and all the options are set. So I'm going to just increase the size to something like this. All right. And then. Let's create a point. There are. And then also onto the other headlight. There you go. Now select it on that glow to layer. Right click on it and go to blending options. Go from the blending mode. Click this one down. And I'm going to choose this one here. A linear dodge add. And then hit OK. Now the next step here is, will be the glow 3. So going on to the, to the right bottom corner of the screen again. Select on the add new layer. And let's rename this one as the glow 3. From this glow three layer selected, let's make use of the brush tool. Okay, but this time I'm going to hold Alt and then get a color sample inside this headlight. Okay, yeah, this one, and then let's increase the size a bit, something like this. Okay, all right, and then from the opacity, I'm gonna set this one to fifty percent. Okay, and let's click on that, something like that, and also onto the other side. There you go. And of course, don't forget to change the blending options of this layer. So yes. Go here again for the blending mode. Click on this. And this time I'm going to make use off screen. There you are. Now our next step here is we're going to create a lens glare. So again, we're going to create another new layer. So let's go here. Click on this one again. Add a new layer. All right. From, from this layer, this will, this will be for the horizontal lens glare. Going on to the brush tool once again. And then the opacity, set this one to 50%. So from the brush, I'm going to click this one down. And this time I'm going to flatten our brush. So from here, I'm going to click and drag this down to make it thinner, something like this. All right. And then let's get a color sample from the inside. And then I'm going to create a glare, something like that. And also to the other headlight. All right. There you are. Looking good. Now, next step here is we're going to add another layer that will be for the vertical lens glare. So going on to the add layer icon click that then for the options let's go here at the brush 
click this one and then we're just going to rotate this one to like something like to 90 degrees all right so and then once all set let's just create something like that and also here all right and then from this new layer we're going to add here a motion blur so yes yeah, still select on that layer go to the menu bar go to filter go to blur and then choose motion blur so for the angle set that to 90 degrees for the distance okay so i'm going to increase that into the amount of 1000 all right to one hand 1000 pixels all right so there you are looking good isn't it and then hit ok all right and then for the opacity of this layer i'm just going to decrease this one just a bit okay okay and there you go now from this layer one and this layer two that we just added press control and then click the other one make sure that they are both selected right click on it and then choose merge layers now we can now name this layer as the lens flare okay so from the lens flare layer selected again right click on that go to blending options and then go to outer glow click on that outer glow for the adjustments so for the opacity i'm gonna set this one to 10 percent okay so from the color i'm just gonna make use of a yellowish color here hit okay from the spread set this one to one for the size so for me i'm gonna set this one to 60. all right and then now all said and done hit okay so from that lens flare layer selected we're going to decrease the opacity into the amount of 60 percent all right next step here to make it more realistic of course we're going to add a lighting on the ground now let's go and let's add another new layer so go to the add layer icon select on the brush tool go to the options click this one and then we're gonna rotate again this to horizontal something like that and then for the opacity set this one to 50 percent so that that's good for the color i just can get a sample from the headlight so press out and hold it and let's get a sample and then let's paint the ground something like this okay so actually let's say this one as the ground light so from that ground light layer selected right click on it go to blending options all right so for the blending mode i'm gonna set this one to soft light all right and then under the underlying layer from this shadow slider i'm gonna split that to half by just pressing out hold it and then click and drag the other half to split it out okay so i'm gonna put down this other half into around 107 that's fine that's looking perfect and then hit okay all right so let's remove some excess here so from the ground layer selected let's add a add a layer mask so select on this add layer mask icon for the brush i'm going to lessen okay and then for the foreground set this one to black all right and then paint on the areas that you think the light won't be able to reach all right that's better we're good with this and one last thing let's darken the background okay so going down here go into the background layer under then selected on that layer let's add curves so click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves okay under the histogram let's create a point from the middle something like that and let's drag this one to darken the background something like that now we're done with this now let me show you the before and after so this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to turn on car headlights in Photoshop.